Greetings, warriors. Don Tane, TGN. Seagull. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, come on, baby. Yes. Skills. All right. On to today's video. Um, today we're talking about the two different kinds of arm specs that you can run in PvP in Season 10. I mean, we were running these anyway, so I figured I'd make a video for you. There are two primary specs. One is the Slam spec, which is this current spec right here. And the other one is the Heroic Strike spec, which is this one right here. I will go over each of these specs and talk about the glyphs, their benefits, and the bad things about them. Let's start off with the Slam spec, because this is what I've used all through Season 9. Slam spec's benefits lie in the fact that Slam hits hard as hell. In this patch, our two-handed weapon specialization damage went down from 20 to 12 percent. That's not a big deal. We'll have harder hitting weapons uh, in the next season. So don't worry, this spec is still really good. Um, what's great about this spec is that you run it with Slam and you have to use Slam efficiently. If you have to practice quite a bit to actually pull off your slams properly, but half a second swing timer on slam means with three lambs to the slaughter, you'll actually slam people for a ton of damage. So that's one of the negatives, too, because you have to actually stack up your lambs. If you can effectively keep your mortal strikes up on people and then keep your lambs to the slaughter stack to three once you actually do get to capitalize on your target and slam them without them dodging or parrying, um, your slams will hit for quite a bit of damage and it'll crit hopefully for 30k plus on uh, with a tier 1 weapon a little more with the tier 2 weapon let's move on to the heroic strike spec basically a very similar spec in the arms tree except we lose slam so it's almost it actually is the exact same spec except for two major differences on the arm side one no slam two only one point in sudden death so this is one of the negative things about this spec is that uh, you don't get as many, you know, Colossus Smash procs, so you can't really cycle through Colossus Smash as often as you want to do. Basically with this spec you want to throw up a Colossus Smash and then use your cooldowns wisely. We can't use Deadly Calm and uh, Recklessness anymore at the same time, so I'm going to blow my Deadly Calm so you can see what it looks like. Boom, and it actually puts Recklessness on a 10 second cooldown. This is where you would use Heroic Strike and get lots of crits, things like that. But what you can do is use Recklessness and Inner Rage at the same time. So these are two sets worth of um, your cooldowns. And as you can see, my Trinket goes all the way through to the end of the Recklessness, about a couple of seconds off. So anyway, back to the Heroic Strike spec. The detriment isn't so... is uh, You can't use Colossus Smashes often, um, so instead of 3%, it's 6%. But... It'll still proc, and literally the only reason that I put one point in sudden death was to move down this tree. The fury part of this tree is exactly the same. It's just these talents. One point in root interruption because you only need one point in it to get the 5% bonus to the damage. You can pummel twice inside of a 15 second window. You can actually pummel once every 6 seconds, so good game. If you actually get your pummels off in coordination with your teammates that you're playing with, then you'll actually have this buff for quite a, mid, uh, quite a bit of time. 30 seconds is a little overkill, 15 is just fine, so only put one point in it. Uh, same with Blitz, you don't need to be you know, stunning two additional people when you just need to stun one additional person, which means you're going to stun two people. Two points means you stun three, you get another five rage, that's not a big deal. Just put one point in it, then move down the tree. Tactical Mastery goes right out the window with this patch because we don't need it anymore. We don't need the Stance Dance into Berserker Stance to do anything specific to Berserker Stance. Whirlwind sucks now. It's always sucked since, like, for, like, m like months now, so why not, right? The Protection Tree, you get Insight. Basically, what Insight does, if you're unaware, uh, Insight gives your Heroic Strike critical chance plus 15%. And when you crit with Heroic Strike, your next Heroic Strike is a 100% chance to critically strike. But Insight will not proc the buff called Insight that gives your next Heroic Strike 100% chance to critically strike on Insight procs crit strikes. Does that make sense? Basically, when you get this buff and you crit, it doesn't proc Insight again, because that would be dumb. The negative sides to the Heroic Strike spec. Basically, you have to throw everything into a good-timed Colossus Smash with your cooldowns running, and crit. 
if you get a crit, then you're actually going to get a 100% chance to crit. The other detriment is that Heroic Strike is a rage dump. It's not an efficient rage ability. 30 rage is a lot of rage, whereas Slam, in the when you're using it in the Slam spec, is 15 rage. And the amount of seconds that you're on there is a 0.495. That's my improved Slam uh, speed, because improved Slam... Um, it makes it so it takes off one second off your slam. Slam's typically a one and a half second cast. Plus, it makes slam hit 20% harder. Again, the detriment to the heroic strike spec is that <laughs> heroic strike costs a lot of rage. But within a deadly calm and a colossus smash, you are actually free to willy nilly hit heroic strike within its three second cooldown, in between mortal strikes and overpowers. By the way, people think we can't double overpower anymore. You can still double overpower in this patch. But the benefit to this is that you can hit people through uh, inner rage. You can actually get a whole crap low rage, pull it, hit inner rage, and just go doom, 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 and just destroy people. But only if it crits. Warriors, we run around with really low crit, and uh, you basically take 15% and add it to your, your your base crit. So I have almost 23% chance to crit with just Heroic Strike. That's not bad. Um, coupled with the fact that you're running Root Interruption when you pummel someone, you're getting that plus 5% extra damage. That's always constantly up. When, you know, in, in the tree, you keep the basic things that you need, especially Piercing Howl. Both specs run uh, the typical Proved Hamstring spec. No more Drums of War. Like I said, all these uh, the difference between the specs is basically the slam aspect and the insight aspect uh, on top of losing the one point in sudden death again they're exactly the same um, and I'm gonna go through the glyphs these glyphs can be used with either spec this is the glyph setup for either spec for arms the two glyphs I want to focus on here are long charge and rapid charge typically what you would do if you wanted to optimize taking advantage of each glyph individually you would take spell reflection and replace long charge. Having a longer charge doesn't exactly mean that there's benefit. Typically if you charge a warrior who doesn't have long charge you will get the first charge. Factoring in lag and whether or not they're on a mount and jumping around. So this isn't really a guaranteed sort of yes I will get that charge factor. So you can always take spell reflection and get rid of it. Spell reflect is a 25 second cooldown. The glyph of spell reflect puts that at 20 which still sucks. It used to be 10 but whatever. We're not going to cry and complain about it. Keep Rapid Charge. Do not replace a glyph of uh, Spell Reflection for Rapid Charge. You want Rapid Charge. That way your charges come back up in like 12 seconds, which is perfect. 30-yard uh, range is what Long Charge gives you, but you will want to go in here and get rid of Glyph of Long Charge and actually put in Glyph of Spell Reflection. Once you have all that, in the Slam spec, you do want a Glyph for Slam, but... In the other spec for Heroic Strike, you want to take that Prime Glyph and replace it with the Glyph of Bladestorm. And that's basically all you need to know. Just get your balloon, go into PvP and kill people. Bring the balloon. I hear some links for you. Bang, 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 bam. Uh, subscribe to my personal channel. Subscribe to the Dire McTire Show. Subscribe to TGN World of Warcraft. And subscribe to The Warrior Show. Urgh. We're going to have all kinds of warrior-related things here at The Warrior Show. You're going to have, you know videos like this where we teach you things about spec class pve pvp and then you're going to have warrior perspective on everything from you know uh battlegrounds raided battlegrounds arena raids uh prot you know fury that sort of thing so do that uh, make sure that you you can subscribe to the individual shows in case you want to just you know filter your results but i do highly suggest you subscribe to tgn world of warcraft and tgn go check out my channel for my other tgn videos if you haven't found them i've got uh bunch of useful World of Warcraft warrior stuff. Been playing this game for almost six years, guys, so... And uh, now I'm gonna jump and type bow because it's what people do, I guess. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna queue for Battleground and kill somebody. So, I'm gonna do that. You do what you do. And, uh, we'll see you later.